dad, Tom Parsons, is not home. At least that's that's what Mrs. Parsons says. You know, I, I would get Tom to fix it, but Tom's not home. Tom Parsons is actually a coworker, it seems like, of Winston. Both of them work at the Ministry of Truth. And Winston describes Tom as not a smart guy. He is, according to Winston, faddish, but active man of paralyzing stupidity, a mass of imbecile enthusiasms, one of those completely unquestioning devoted trudges on whom more even than on the thought police, the stability of the party depended. He graduated from the Youth League, and he was a part of the spy. So that could explain why there were banners of the Youth League and of the spies. Now, what are those two things? And it also says that Tom was a leading figure in the sports committee. He worked at the community center. So he's a leading figure, but he's not very smart, which makes me think, how is he so high up in the party? How is he so important to the party, this guy who's not very smart, who's fat? You know, you would kind of expect maybe like a guy looking like O'Brien, guy built like a bull, charming, seemingly good looking guy to be higher up. And I think actually Winston described O'Brien as kind of on the upper echelons of the party, at least higher than him. But a guy like Tom doesn't seem like a fat, stupid guy. What's he doing that he's so important to the party? So t- that's why we see these the banners of these two groups, Youth League and the Spies, which seemingly are probably subcommittees that work for the party. Youth League, I'm guessing, something to do with kids, right? And spies, people that spy on society for Big Brother. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say that. 